Hi friends, long time no see. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do some water casting. It's such a super simple process that we can do at home. You can do it in your garden or you could do it in your kitchen as I'm about to do. Thanks to the beautiful, that is not sunshine, that is rain, that is rain that Glasgow has to offer. And the best thing to do is show you once and throw yourself into it. Just, it's quite repetitive. You're gonna keep throwing that silver into that water over and over again until you find some shapes that you're really happy with. But I plan in the future to make a video showing you how we can turn the beautiful water castings I make today into some really stunning, one-of-a-kind pieces of jewelry. Um, right, let's begin. For this project, you will need some heatproof mats, a crucible, some scrap silver, some borax, a lighter and a blowtorch. A creme brulee torch will not be sufficient for this project. Our first step on our metal nugget making journey is to collect some water. I have chosen to source mine from Kitchen Tap, however feel free to get creative when choosing your water source. For example, you may choose a bottle, a bathtub, a puddle or even your local wishing well. Different water can contain different energies that may influence or direct the shape of your water cask. Once you have collected your water from an appropriate to you location, it is time to season your crucible. If your crucible is brand new, then this next step is absolutely essential. Firstly, make some borax dust by breaking some bits off of your borax cone and crushing them until they resemble dust. Sadly, this dust does not contain any magic and is instead highly toxic. Sprinkle your toxic, not magic crystals into the bottom of the crucible. A fine dusting is all you need. Too much borax and your metal will go a swimming and then it will need rescuing before it drowns. You will then find yourself needing some snorkels, some flippers and the help of a big friendly whale. Heat up the borax until it melts, creating a reddish browny coloured shiny coating that will insulate the bottom of the crucible. If you neglect this step, your metal will stick to the crucible and refuse to pour. The time has come, my friends, to play with fire. Although we already have played with a little bit of fire before now, this is what you came here for. Although I am using silver in this video, you can also use gold. Be aware that gold melts at a higher temperature, so you may need a bigger torch. It also burns much brighter, so it's advisable to wear sunglasses to protect your delicate little oglies. Using your blowtorch, you want to heat your metal until it forms a wobbly jelly ball in the bottom of your crucible. Yes, that is the technical term. Avoid trying to melt too much metal. These torches can only handle a few grams at a time. Remember your water castings should be light and fluffy, like popcorn. I just wanted to step away for a second and talk to you about how we can create some variation in this process. So what I find is that there's like four or five different shapes of water casting that the metal will kind of like revert to. One is like quite a flat shape. One is more of a cup shape. One has like a, a little bowl in it. Um, kind of looks like an orchid or a dewdrop, a place where fairies might live. Um, and the others are just like random. Sometimes you could even produce a, a, a powder. I'll insert a picture here when that happened to me. And the texture's fantastic, but it's just totally unwearable. Um, what I notice happens is the metal in the water will start making the same shapes over and over again. And you kind of get stuck in a loop and you want something different to happen. So a couple of my tips on how to, uh, you kind of like reinvigorate the whole, uh, to reinvigorate the whole process and force that metal into, or tease it. I say force, I, you don't have that much control. You are truly playing with the divine energy of creativity here uh, and chance essentially. Uh, one of my favorite parts of the world, the universe, chance. Um, you can tease that metal into making different kinds of shapes. What I would advise trying is putting ice in your bowl of water to cool it down or changing the bowl of water. You could put boiling water in. Uh, you could even put, at the workshop we put orbies in the water and you can, I've put flower petals before. There's loads of different things that you could put into that water that will force 
the metal to form a shape around whilst also being hardened with, by the water at the same time. Um, another thing is to try a different batch of metal. I don't know what goes on, and I know this, I know this is absolutely not possible, but I love that my brain can conceive it as an idea, but that maybe that metal has some kind of like inherent memory to it. So the one of the reasons why it keeps making the same shape over and over again is because it's like, it remembers its previous form, totally balmy. And I really doubt that that is happening, but, <laughs> but just in case it might be, changing up your metal to a diff little different batch or mixing that batch of metal in with a different, you know, handful or pinch or whatever, a different pinch or whatever, I would advise doing that. That kind of wraps everything up. So thank you so much for watching along today. I hope that you've learned something new and maybe been inspired to try a new process. Um, I hope to make another video soon and show you some simple soldering techniques that uh, we can use to combine those, those water castings together or to how to turn them into earrings and turn them into pendants and begin wearing your creations. Um, yeah, thank you. And um, don't forget, you are rare and you are wonderful.